company for many years. What are your offerings in Indian solar market? Uh, yes, we are a listed public company from 1984 and uh, we are a leader in power conditioning and power quality management to start with and uh, now we focus mainly into renewable energy program. So as a listed public entity in order to uh, you know give value for the investors and value for our good customers, uh, we offer everything possible in solar to start with. So we uh, manufacture PV modules, we manufacture the mounting racks and mounting structures. Uh, the array combiners, uh, solar inverters, and uh, also we are a solar integration company for the complete range of uh, project. Right now, uh, we have about 2,000 solar rooftop installations that can be one kilowatt to all the way up to megawatt scale. The latest one we have done is a one megawatt uh, rooftop installation for uh, IOCL Baroni refinery, and we continue to do a lot of such rooftop installations. And also as a solar company or a renewable energy company, uh, we also have solar assets to the tune of about for close to 50, kilo, 50 megawatts. And we, we build a lot of projects for our customers. They can be hospitals, leading corporate or commercial customers. We build um, solar parks for them or solar projects in the middle, you know, megawatt scale range. Okay. Quality, cost and performance. Are key concern areas for Indian project developers. So, how would you like to address these issues for your offerings in India? Uh, certainly, uh, solar project uh, is having um, you know its own issues like uh, cost, performance, and then the uh, reliability to the tune of uh, the design life. So, we as a you know matured player in the solar space and uh, an experienced power electronics company. Uh, we care for uh, quality all over, number one. Uh, one is we choose right raw materials in the PV modules that we produce uh, and make sure those modules are produced in, uh, you know, in high quality space using maximum automation with uh, less number of, uh, you know, manual intervention. So thereby we ensure the, the quality of the products meet the best. For example, if you ask me, our modules are tested for 100% electroluminescence test and all modules pass electroluminescence test three times during the manufacturing process. We are the only company in the country uh, that is offering this kind of facility for our customers. What I mean is all modules that we produce pass through very stringent quality control. So thereby the performance is guaranteed. Since we you know, source raw materials from reliable supplies and our volumes are high, we always control the cost. And when it comes to performance, so when we supply our modules to customers, five years down the line or 10 years down the line, we have the service team and the specialist team to go to the market, work with the developers to analyze their O&M uh, you know, practices, wherever they are not able to, or there is a shortcoming in terms of O&M, for example, uh, proper cleaning, proper uh, keep of grid connectivity and so on. We help the customers to uh, you know, improve their performance. Even we go to the extent of uh, analyzing the modules, the performance level, is there any degradation? And then we help customers to sort out those issues and then improve the performance thereon. So we certainly offer all the three very important vital requirements for developers like cost, and then quality and performance. Okay. With fall bids in the competitive bidding, uh, are EPC signific facing significant cost pressures? And if so, uh, how are the EPCs coping up with such pressures? Okay. See, the pressure on EPCs is basically. This is good then the pressure on cost or the pro project owner is less. For example, today the energy cost from solar plants are sold at the rate of 4.4 to 4.7 rupees per kilowatt hour. Uh, to an extent, the input costs have come down, but the most important thing, the most important thing is the cost of financing. So the cost of financing is really a pressure on everybody. What I mean is the interest rates. If, if the interest rates, if the interest rates can be 
uh, significantly low like uh, you know countries like Germany or America or in other countries definitely this pressure can be uh, re, you know yeah you can be managed so with the uh, sales, sales price of electrical units getting lower uh, material price also to an extent getting lower so the only bridging factor missing is the cost of finance hope that will you know uh, will improve in time to come what is the future of wind solar large scale hybrid solutions okay wind solar hybrid large scale installations are very significant for the future today what happens if you look at wind alone uh, wind is powerful for 6 months in a year and the rest of the months when the wind stops blowing the infrastructure remains idle and that infrastructure is not doing any performance for the next uh, wind season until the next wind season when we talk of solar only daytime you have solar generation and night time you don't have then the infrastructure doesn't do anything if you do a combination of wind and solar the renewable energy power window gets extended to nearly 16 to 20 hours in a day that means the infrastructure is deployed fully well to the extent of 16 to 20 hours per day that's number one Number two, the combination of solar and wind can address comfortably the daytime peak loads and uh, the shifting the peak load demand timing etc are very very important which can be achieved to an extent. And the third one, okay there are some concerns in interfacing wind solar into the grid but we have a mechanism, we have developed a special technology for that so the grid interface becomes trouble free. So I welcome actually wind solar hybrid large scale integration to grow you know all over the country. Any message for the industry? Okay, well it's uh, solar or energy uh, is a very important uh, program, uh, be it solar, wind or any form of renewable energy. You know when we have committed ourselves to deliver energy to the customers or the end users, every developer or every project implementer or every product supplier to such program should have a long-term commitment that they are serving a community they are serving the nation so everyone should perform without any compromise do the best in class uh, modules uh, best in class implementation inverter selection and then high quality maintenance uh, for example you know when we talk of make in india it should be realized by us because Make in India can help us in many ways. One is employment creation, job creation, and it can curtail the dollar outflow, and also it can, you know, bring a resilience for the country itself to develop its own economy, scale of economies. So what we would suggest uh, to the government, uh, you know, all the, con the concerned government should take note of uh, improving or helping the local industries to perform to a highest level uh, so why we address the quality issues we address the cost pressure performance and also the every developer gets value for money so that's our wish okay sir